Hello friends, in this video tutorial we discuss about the filter. Filter is an object and uh, that is main the main use of the filter is used to simply filter the task like uh, input validation, encryption, decryption, logging, etc. The filter is also pluggable because we simply define the entry of the filter in web.xml file. We can also remove the entry point of the filter from the web.xml file and we can easily remove the filter from the project and uh, we don't need to make any changes in the servlet. Okay, let's say with practical step by step and I simply click on the file and then new and then click on the dynamic web project and uh, simply I giving my project uh, title uh, project name as a filter demo 1 or 2 sorry I am giving here the filter demo 2 and then click on the next then next and then check the generate web.xml deployment description descriptor and then click on the finish okay and uh, I simply right click on the web content and uh, take a html file here and giving my html file as index.html and then click on the next okay and uh, I am simply using the form tag and giving here the excel equal servlet 1 and then close it and here I am taking a table tag and uh, giving here the tr and closing here the tr and uh, then td and then close it and taking another td and uh, close it and uh, I simply write here the user id and uh, in this td I am using the input type equal text and uh, giving the name of my text as a user id and uh, simply I copy and uh, paste here and uh, here I write simply password and uh, giving the name of my text as a password ok and again copy paste and uh, I delete this information and uh, simply I write here the submit I delete the name and simply I write here value equals to submit ok and then save it it create two text box and uh, we will provide the user id and password into this text box and click on the submit button and uh, action I am giving here the action as a servlet one this is the URL of the servlet one and uh, we need here explore the java resource and then right click and then click on the new and uh, take a filter and simply I am giving my filter name as a uh, filter one and then click on the next this is the name of my filter and uh, this is the URL of my filter and then click on the next and then finish my filter file is created here and uh, this is the filter class and implement the filter my filter class name is a filter one and uh, this is the implement filter interface and uh, this is the constructor of my filter class as a filter one and uh, filter have three methods destroy do filter and init the init method execute only once in their whole life cycle and uh, do filter 
is every time execute when the user request and destroy method execute at the end of the programs uh, end of the execution and uh, simply I write here print writer out equal response response dot get writer and then semicolon okay and uh, it's showing some errors and uh, simply we need to import the print writer package and uh, print writer class uh, reside inside the uh, java dot io input java dot io package and simply I select it and, uh, I declare here the two variables user id equals to request dot get parameters and uh, simply I am giving my parameter name as a user id and then terminated with semicolon and declaring string password equal request dot get parameter and uh, my parameter as a password and then semicolon ok look here this is the user id pa pa parameter and uh, this is the password parameter when the user enter the user id and password into the index.html these values store into the user id and password variable and uh, simply I giving here a condition if user id dot equals blank and uh, password dot equals blank means if the user ID and password both are blank on that case it simply print the message I am using here the h2 level heading and uh, close it h2 level heading and uh, I write here input errors are errors in input ok and then else and uh, in the else part you simply look here I am using chain dot do filter method and chain dot do filter method simply send the control to the next resource and uh, in this case or in my case I am using servlet as a next resource ok and uh, then save it and here I right click on the src and click on the new and uh, take a servlet giving my servlet class name as a servlet1 and then click on the next and then url of my servlet is servlet1 and then click on the next and then finish ok and uh, simply i copy this statement and uh, paste into this part ok and i uh, comment this line simply I write here out dot print and uh, I am using h2 level heading and uh, close it and uh, I write here welcome to servlet and then save it ok you look here I write this statement into the, into the do get method and uh, when the filter check the condition if the user id and password is not blank on that case the filter sent here 
and uh, this message is sent on to the screen on to the browser okay and uh, after all these settings we need here open web.xml file to configure the servlet and filter here so i simply using the servlet tag and uh, provide the servlet name as a uh, servlet1 you can give any name to your servlet name but if you are using the servlet class on that case you simply write the servlet class name and uh, my servlet class name is a servlet1 and uh, here i am using the servlet mapping and uh, within servlet mapping i am giving the servlet name tag and uh, my servlet name is a servlet1 and uh, i am giving here the url pattern as a slash servlet1 and uh, after that i am using here the filter tag to provide the entry for the filter and uh, simply i giving here the filter name as a uh, filter1 and uh, my filter class name also as a uh, filter1 you can give here the filter name as anything but filter class is same as a filter class name okay and uh, simply i write here filter map and uh, filter mapping and uh, i write here filter name as a filter 1 and uh, url pattern as a servlet slash servlet 1 and then save it okay means filter send the control to next resource as a servlet 1 and uh, i simply open the index and right click and then run it okay it is taking little time and uh, okay you look here this is my index page and uh, simply print the message user id and password and this is the text box and uh, i don't want to give any value to this text box and uh, when we click on the submit button it go to the sub, uh, go to filter and uh, check the condition user id and password if the user id and password is blank then the filter print the message error input click on submit okay it simply print the message error in input because you are not uh, giving any value to the user id and password okay i back it and uh, write something like this and uh, simply i click on the submit if the user id and password is not blank on that case the filter send to next resource and my next resource is servlet1 and uh, my i am giving the welcome to servlet message on to my servlet1 so this will print the welcome to servlet there is a i am changing some portion and simply i write here the password because password type simply hide the, or mask the data and again i right click and click run on server and giving the value okay i need here to refresh it and i write here run and then okay and then 
वेलकम टू सबमिट ओके थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड लाइक माय वीडियो एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियो प्लीज कमेंट ऑन माय वीडियो थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स